Hello everyone, today we're going to go over a few different ways that you can log into Destiny, our online catalog for library resources, and place items on hold. Now this might behave a little bit differently for each site depending upon what rights the librarian has set up. So we'll just go over the basics and then if you have any questions you can talk to your school librarian. So one way would be to go to the district homepage and then select academics, library resources, and then select your grade level. So for this example, we'll use a high school student from Renaissance High School. And when we land on this school's homepage, there are two links here. One is for the Destiny Discover, which is the newest interface for interacting with library materials and the other one is what's often referred to as the classic view or back office so let's start here because many of you are familiar with this now when you first land here it does not know who you are you're just considered a guest so you can certainly search around and look for books but if you want to place a hold you must log in for the computer to know who it is putting a hold on for so go ahead and log in using your normal computer login credentials as if you were sitting you know at school on any networked computer once you authenticate the computer will let you know it knows who you are up in the top right instead of saying log in now it says log out and when we when we look at the tabs up here we have a new one called my info so if you select my info you can see every single item that you have checked out under your name okay and this person already has a book that's on hold called encyclopedia of aquarium and pond fish so let's go ahead and go to the catalog let's suppose we need to do a research project and we're looking for something about snakes so I just do a keyword search on snakes this looks like a great one here a whole encyclopedia on snakes so I'm gonna select the details of this now because I'm logged in, I'll have the hold it button. If you don't see that hold a button, it could be for a variety of reasons, but the first one is you're not logged in. If you, if you are logged in and you don't see hold it, then it could be that the librarian has things set up so that maybe this book is not allowed to be put on hold, or maybe this book is sitting on the shelf and they don't allow books that are sitting on the shelf to be put on hold. Um, they want you to come in and pick them up. This particular library and this particular book, I have the hold a button, so I'm going to select hold it, and then it says it's going to be available, so please pick it up before October 1st. Okay, so that's one way you can place a hold and know that that book is going to be pulled and ready and waiting for you. Let's take a look from the catalog tab at the other interface I was talking about called Destiny Discover. So you can switch in between the two, this Destiny Classic, Back Office, or Destiny Discover. These are the same library materials, they're just organized in a different way. And if we went up here and started searching, we could search for that same book snake. I notice when I, when I land here, it knows who I am because I logged in in a classic view, so that carries over. And then it's got this number two up here telling me that there's some information I should pay attention to. And there are two holds. The two holds are that snake book and that encyclopedia of aquarium pondfish. Now let's suppose that I decide I don't want this one anymore. You can select this. And then you can say unhold. Okay. And then I'll close that screen. And then I really don't want this snake book either. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to say unhold. All right. So Destiny Discover is an area that you can search um, for whatever. And as long as you're logged in, you might have the ability to place something on hold. So for this particular book here, for some reason, this one is not able to be placed on hold. And as I scroll down, I can see this one is, and this one is. So if you find a book that you really want, 
and it's not showing that you can put it on hold you'll have to touch bases with your librarian um, to find out why this book can't be put on hold this one cannot be put on hold because it's an ebook and you could you could just open it right here so there's no reason to put it on hold but for some reason this book is not able to be placed on hold whereas this one is and if you wanted to you could switch back to the classic view from right here that menu some people call it the hamburger pull that down and you can look at any holds you can jump to the what's called destiny back office or destiny classic and you'll switch back to this view so your login credentials stick with you between the two interfaces so I'm gonna log out of here close everything up and show you another way that you can tap into these library resources um, from the district homepage, if you go to parents and students, there's a new portal. It's called the new online web applications portal. Um, it's formally called Rapid Identity. And what it is, it's an interface where you can log in and it gives you access to a whole bunch of resources. Destiny would be one of them. So from the menu that pops down you can see the rapid identity portal for students now if you're on a school computer that is has this image in tuned image and it's a district provided laptop or PC when you launch the internet you're gonna see a little tab that says West Ada application portal and that will be taking you to this link right here this is where you can log in using your normal computer credentials. And once you authenticate, it'll show you all of these applications that you have access to. Because it knows what school you go to, it will give you a destiny link that is for your school. You can also go down to library resources and that destiny link will be right there waiting for you as well so we'll launch that and then what pops up should look very familiar here's the classic view and since we logged out we need to log back in so it knows who we are and the process is exactly the same alright I hope that helps